guys, welcome to today's video. So today is the third makeup look that we're going to be doing for my favorite makeup look series. I really, really like this one. This one turned out amazing. So it's kind of like, I have like a lot of sparkly favorite makeup looks. This is just one of them. And I think it turned out amazing. And it's using two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to start with brows on. Now we're going to carve out the brows. I'm going to take the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I'm going to take some of that on the back of my hand. Just a tiny bit of that. And we're going to use to apply it. We're going to use the Morphe and Aria brush. This is the A19 brush. And I'm going to take this side. I'm just going to dip into the concealer and start carving out the brow. I'm going to pick up a little bit more, or put some more on the back of my hand. I'm going to do the same thing to the other brow. I found out with something like this, I like to blend it in with my finger. I feel like that's the best payoff I get when carving out the brows. Okay, now let's move in to the eyes. I'm going to take my, uh, oops, my e.l.f. Um, sheer eye primer. Just prime the eyes with this. Blend, and again, blend it in with my finger. Go even further, I'm going to take the concealer again, and I'm just going to apply a small amount of this on the lids. And I like to blend it in with a brush. This is the e.l.f. Flawless concealer brush, and just like to. Oh, that's not gonna work. There's still product on there. So I'm just gonna do it with my finger. Set the concealer using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer with my. Uh, I forget this is the one. This is the Echo Tools Large Eyeshadow Brush. I'm just going. Oh, this is in translucent, by the way, and I just like to set the concealer on the eyes. And I also like to set the concealer that we have, that we placed for the um, carving out the brows as well. And just, I like to go through the brows too when doing that, just to soften it a little. Okay, now let's go into the ColourPop eyeshadow palette. We're going to use the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette. And the first going to take Shredded, which is this one. To apply it, we're going to use the Morphe and Ariel brush number A20. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this from the brow bone to the crease. Then in the same palette, oops, I'm going to take the Morphe and Ariel brush number A25. And we're going to take Lovely Bunch, which is this shade and apply this to the crease. Same thing to the other eye. We kind of like to place it in the crease first and then build it up towards the brow. Then we're going to take the same brush that we used for um, shredded. And I'm going to dip in to Get Kraken, which is this darker brown. I'm going to place this on the outer third of my eye. And a tiny bit in the crease as well. Okay, now I'm going to go in to Coco Crush. And we are going, I'm going to spray my finger for the way with my NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Mist. And I'm going to Apply Coco Crush on the inner part of my lid. And focus it there first and then bring what's left and in the on the rest of the lid. I'm going to spare my finger again and do the same thing on the other eye. Now what I like to do is I'm gonna take a clean blending brush like this one and just blend a little bit, like kind of where the filler meets the where it, uh, Cocoa Crush meets the crease. Definitely just want to use a super shock shadow formula for this look. I want to go back to this palette because I really like the super shock formula that's in one of these shades. So this is the ColourPop That's Taupe eyeshadow palette. And we are going to use 
slated for the super super shock shadow shade on top of cocoa crush and again i like to spray my finger and then you can apply it i like to start by applying it kind of in the inner part of the eye and then bring it to the center i went ahead and also applied my mascara um now let's go into i'm going to take my honest beauty everything glow primer i'm gonna put some of that on the back of my hand and i'm going to use my bedelium muscle brush to apply this Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This one is in Fair. I, oh, this is like my favorite foundation. I absolutely love it. I'm going to take the Anissa Beauty All Over Face Brush. Okay, now time for the concealer. I'm going to take the same concealer that we used for on the eyes. I'm going to take a, a tiny tiny dot under the eyes and any blemishes. Then I'm gonna blend it in with my brush. This is the old fashion, not old fashion, this is the Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pour that in. Like always, I like to immediately spray my NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Setting Spray. And press that in with my beauty blender. Now I can set the face. I'm going to take my Maybelline Whitney translucent powder with a small fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. And I'm just going to set the T-zone. And then a bigger brush, I'm going to set the outsides of the face. All right. For bronzer, I'm going to do two bronzers actually. First, I'm going to go in with the um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in Medium. And I'm going to take the Old Fashioned Fluffy Brush and just warm up the face. I kind of like to blend it up into the hairline a little bit. I'm going to go on the forehead as well. And then on the jawline. Over it with a shimmery bronzer. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. So I don't know what happened to this bronzer. It totally like fell out. Try to be really careful with it. I'm just gonna go right on top of the Estee Lauder bronzer. And I'm gonna go into blush. I'm gonna take the Jaffra Blush in Rose Oro with the Anissa Beauty Angled Cheek Brush. What I've been liking to do sometimes is to use, I like to use a eyeshadow for a highlight. I'm going to go into the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette and we are going to take Palm Reader. I'm going to use the Anissa, I keep saying Anissa, Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush. I'm just going to take this, the point where I would normally put on a highlight or put a highlight. Then I'm going to use my NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in Total Baller. I'm going to fill them in as well. I like to take my finger and just blend the lip liner a little. Then on top of that, I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipstick in Cheeky. For that to dry, I'm going to um, set the face, and then I'm going to take a fan just to dry it a little. Okay, so the Bible verse of the day is another long one. I'm going to have it in the description below. This is Matthew 21, 21, so... Go check it out for yourself in the description. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and see you guys in the next one. Bye!